The country of Namibia is one of Africa's most popular safari destinations, but it wasn't always that way. When I first hunted here 35 years ago, it was still called Southwest Africa. It was a country that very few Americans had heard of it. <laughs> you could hardly give away a Namibian safari in the United States, but today it's Africa's second most popular safari destination. Hi, I'm Craig Boddington. On this week's Boddington Experience, we're gonna take you to one of my favorite hunting countries, Namibia. We're gonna do a great hunt down in the south of the country with Barry Birchall of Frontier Safaris. Beautiful country. He's kind of sandwiched between the Namib Desert and the Kalahari Desert, so it's dry country where you find Gemsbuck in two different colors and Hartman's Mountain Zebra and a lot of other semi-desert animals. Stay with us for a great Boddington Experience. Oh, what a shot. This episode of BotX is brought to you by Global Sportsman's Network. Craig Boddington, decorated Marine, award-winning writer, hunter, adventurer. He's explored six continents to hunt over 300 species of big game, and he's not done yet. This is the Boddington Experience. Well, the first day of any safari is range day. Let me introduce Jill St. John. Now, Jill bought this hunt at a Safari Club International auction, and we're going to be hunting the Golden Gemsbuck and some other Plains game. And, of course, Barry Birchall's our professional hunter and outfitter. And uh, first thing we're going to do is make sure the guns are on. What did you bring? Um, McMillan 338 Win Mag. Perfect. All right. That ought to knock the heck out of the Gemsbuck. I like that. I, I would hope so. It'd, it'd, yeah, we won't have to sneak up on them too close. No, no. That's a great, yeah. great Plains game cartridge. It really is. Yeah, perfect. Good shooting. Well done, Joe. So you'll be on at 200, then 250 you'll be slightly low. Okay, good to go. Craig, can you please tell us about the weapon you brought with? Well, <laughs> you probably haven't seen one of these in a while. This is the old uh, Winchester 264, 264 yes. Winchester Magnum uh, with 140 grain Hornady bullets. You know, when I was a kid, I had one of these, and this is a, I haven't had this rifle in Africa, but uh, I've done a, a lot of mule deer hunting and a little sheep hunting with it. I've got a loophole two and a half to 10 on it. And, uh, but when I was a kid, the cartridge came out in 1958. And, and when I was a kid, uh, an old man who became a really good friend of mine, Colonel Charlie Askins, wrote a story when the cartridge was new called the 264 Winchester Magnum in Africa. So I thought maybe we'd reprise that story. Yeah, sounds good. Craig, Joe, the plan of action this morning is we're going to use a vehicle to drive around and locate a herd of Gemsbuck. Then we'll stalk close on foot. What we're looking for is an old, mature bull, a bull that's gone past his peak and uh, one that may be hindering the breeding program. Uh, Gemsbuck is a very interesting animal. The bulls wear their horns down pretty quickly. So we're going to be looking for a bull today of about 36 inches, but uh, four or five years ago, he might have been a 40, 42 inch bull. Boy, that's a beautiful herd. The golden, their horns are almost paler, aren't they? They are, yes. And the hoof as well. Okay. And the eye looks like a goat eye, not a black eye. These games are interesting animals, They're always fighting and poking each other. They, if you watch them, you'll see there's always, there's always some mischief going mm -hmm. on. In a herd in the sunlight, it's hard to pick them out, but here's a lone golden oryx bull, and he looks pretty good. It's a beautiful animal, yeah. <laughs> Good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let Nebo drive off mm -hmm. in the truck. Let the Gimsberg watch the truck and let him start grazing when he gets a bit further away. And then we'll stalk him. It stopped underneath the tree. We're just going to go forward. distance to the big tree now is 200 yards. We're going to try and get to this brush in front of us which is 60 yards away. So it'll be about 140 yard shot. 
You, you see him up there? I got him. Take got him when him. you're ready. Okay. Great shot. Well done. Okay. Good shooting. Just, uh, just put a bullet in the chamber. When you go on an outfitted hunt, you're betting more than just your hard-earned cash. You're betting your vacation time, your safety, and your hunting dreams. You've got to get it right. There's a lot of ways to find a good outfitter, but a simple way is to go on my website, craigboddington.com, and take a look at our Craig Boddington Endorsed Outfitter Program. Go on the website and you hook up directly with the outfitter. It's based on 40 years of hunting experience worldwide. My program is a group of outfitters that I believe in, and they believe in me. Hey, I know a good outfitter. He is, he's dead. <laughs> They're tough. Get them struck They're very tough. They're very tough ones. Especially when the adrenaline's up. Look at that blood coming out. I mean, it's pumping out yeah. from the heart. Yeah. Look at this beautiful blonde mane on the top of his back. Yeah, that's right. And the Gemsbach have got a very, very distinct smell. All of our African animals have got a different smell. Wow. Better. Jill, congratulations. Thanks, Craig. It's a beautiful animal, but you know what? Most people start with a regular color phase Gemsbach. This is your first one, isn't it? That's correct. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. And this is actually the first one of these golden Gemsbach that I've ever seen. Really? Oh yeah, I've never seen one before. This is beautiful. Barry, mm. you've been breeding these up for like 15 years and they're they're just now getting to where they're in, in shootable numbers. Tell mm. us about this. Well, Craig, what's interesting about uh, this golden gamesback, it's, it's a regular Calori gamesback, just a different color phase. And it's got the recessive gene. And uh, they've been around forever. You know, the early travelers saw them in 1720 near Swellendam, which is near Cape Town. Good heavens. And uh, speaking to the farmers around the area where, the, where we got these, you know, the people would go hunting and they would see a, a Gemsbach and it was different and they'd shoot it. You know, people want to shoot something that's different. Sure. And uh, when we heard about them 15 years ago, we went and we flew and we caught them. We, we dotted each one individually and the ones that were remaining in a very big canyon. So it was very difficult to get to. And uh, through careful management and breeding, uh, the, there are a lot of them now and it's safe to shoot them. But there haven't been... 20 shot, I'll bet. No, definitely not. <laughs> That's really no, quite a special not. thing. Well done. Thank you. Well shot and a beautiful, beautiful Appreciate animal. It. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, great and a very well exciting hunt, Jill. Well done. You bet. It was early in the hunt when Jill got her golden oryx and also early in the day, so now it's my turn and we're going to go on and see if we can find another one. Here's a golden one on the left. Yeah. It's also a bull that you could shoot. I didn't see which way they went. No, I lost them behind this bush, but yeah. they were running. Not hard, just just trotting. I think we go up to that little neck and we'll see if it's in. Yeah. Craig is stopping uh, yeah. when, when you're ready to take him. Okay. There he is. Yeah. 150 yards. Perfect shot. Yeah. It looked good. He's gone around yeah. that corner. Great shot. Well done. <laughs> Thank uh, that you. That is a one shot kill. Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> I think he probably went down just out of sight. You get all the blood, yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, there he is, dead. There he is. Well, the textbook shot like that, Craig, you're in a good 200 yards. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm probably at height of trajectory. I probably hit him a couple inches high. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. <laughs> wow. The bullet didn't exit, but I think that's, feel it against the hide on the far side. That's a, just a plain old 140 grain horn of the interlock. Well, Jill, we almost made this a double play. I know, right? What awesome. an afternoon, huh? Uh, Barry, thank you. Great, great shot. Awesome. Not a bad first day, and what a beautiful thing. This is something I never, ever thought I'd be able to hunt. It's just lovely. Beautiful, beautiful bull. Old bull starting to wear his horns. It's kind of what we were looking for. Exactly what we were looking for. I thought they'd gone into this valley, and, and they had, but I didn't think they'd be quite that close. <laughs> what is it, about 120 yard shot? Yeah, no more than that. No I more than like that. it when that happens. Yeah, well that 264 is not a big gun on these things and he proved it with the distance he went. Yeah. That's a beautiful, beautiful bull. I, again, I can't thank you enough. Well, congratulations. This is lovely. Just wonderful. And now, a conservation minute from SCI, first for hunters. These are tule elk. That's one of the great conservation stories here on the California Central Coast. You know, they were almost gone and they brought them back with good management, good conservation, and now they're hunted both on public drawing tags and on private land tags here in the Central Coast and uh, up in the Owens Valley. And this is the original California elk. Good conservation brought them back. And you know, Safari Club International was the first to recognize them in their record book. It's a beautiful animal. And here in the Central Coast, we see them a lot, whether we're deer hunting or pig hunting. <laughs> The tags aren't easy to come by, but they're a huntable species, thanks to hunters putting their dollars down and making a lot of effort to make it happen. Joel, you can see there's a lot of activity of animals here this morning. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is we want to drive a little bit further down about another mile or two and uh, give the wind a bit of a chance for it to decide which way it wants to blow. Then we'll just make our way slowly into the wind there's a very good chance we could come across a good springback or a good kudu or water beast or zebra, stienback. We'll just see what we come across. Get your leg and let's get in your position. Okay. There he is. He's walking. You're on him. Yeah, when, he, when he gets into the opening, I'm going to whistle, then you can take him. Here he comes, you ready? Mm -hmm. Good shot, well done. Yeah, you got him in the heart. You can see he's not going to go far at all. There he's there done. He okay. Great shot, Joel. Great shot. <laughs> well done. Well I done. Feel better now. <laughs> yeah. Put it here. Very good. It was very exciting. Okay, so he's starting to stand up. Should we position him quickly? Right after they expire, as this comes up. Now put your put your face down and smell that. Seriously. Oh yeah, it's real sweet. Yeah, it's like honey. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Congratulations, Jill. Thank that's you. A, that's what we call a Kalahari springbok, which is the what the biggest of the springbok. That's isn't correct. It? Yes. Yeah, beautiful. But this is probably the most classic Southern African animal. Really? Yeah. And hunting, you know, like hunting our pronghorn. I, I love them, but this is a beautiful. They all have that, that in and out shape. And this is a good area for them, huh, Barry? Good area, yes. We've got a good population. And also, springback here is considered the top of our game meat. <laughs> it's oh, good. Awesome. Oh, you're going to love it. Well done. Thank great you. shot. Perfect. It, Barry. It was well a great job. shot. All right. We just want to keep in a single file behind each other. Let's join them see. There's 
Not 230 yards. Yeah, we've made him a little nervous. We can go closer if you're not happy. No, we're going to have to. Yeah, no Close problem. Him. Take him when you're ready. Oh, what a shot. Well done. Great. <laughs> Did he go down? Perfect. In, he dropped him right okay. there. Okay, let's take another one. Oh, great shot. Well done. <laughs> He's down too. Well, <laughs> thank you. That well was done. cool. Very nice. Yeah, very what good. a great stock. Let's go look at him. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Yes, that's what they normally do. Oh, here it is right here. Ooh, that's another nice one. Beautiful. Well, Craig, that was a very exciting hunt. It was. <laughs> this morning we saw the lone ram on this ridge and we did a big circle around him. Probably this one. Probably. Yeah. And we got the wind in our favor and we came up and we luckily we saw him again. And you now we got to about 200 yards and we tried to get a bit closer. And I think he may have heard this, some stones. I don't think he saw us. And uh, he walked away and as we walked closer, we came upon him again at uh, was about 150 yards. Yeah. And he joined a group, which and we didn't even know about. Joined the group and you made a, an incredibly good shot. You dropped him in his tracks and uh, the springback didn't even spook. Because, yeah, the herd just stood. And you took the second one, a, a great shot. Well, these are both beautiful rams, beautiful Kalahari springbuck. This one's a little bit wider and maybe a half an inch longer, and this one's a little narrower and a little bit heavier. And yeah. I don't know which is the best, but they're both beautiful, beautiful rams. Yeah, they're beautiful. Good memories, a good hunt, and uh, good trophies. A great springbuck hunt. I tell you, this mm -hmm. is a great place. Thank you. It's an awesome place. This is the Iridium Extreme, which is a whole lot smaller than the, the Iridium that I've been using for years, and certainly a lot smaller than satellite phones used to be. It uses low orbiting satellites so that you can actually get coverage anywhere in the world. This is a great little phone that you can get from Explorer Satellite, along with great instructions on how to operate it. It's really very, very simple. And maybe you to keep in touch while you're a long ways from home. And it's really great for peace of mind. And I tell you what, if you have a real emergency, you'll be glad you have this. The Iridium Extreme is water resistant. It's shockproof. It's dustproof. It has a built-in GPS receiver that will send out an SOS signal just on command. It is just absolutely a great phone to have, not only for emergencies, but just so you can keep in touch when you're on the far side of the globe. For both livestock ranching and game ranching, predator control is extremely important. The predators are mostly nocturnal, so most of this control work is done at night. This is an aardwolf. Although they're a relative of the hyena, they're one of the most selective feeders on earth. They're very nocturnal and they actually only eat termites. So it's a rare sight to see one and they're a beautiful little animal. Well done. I'm buying drinks tonight. <laughs> You'd make a good poacher. You do well at night. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Look at his teeth. He didn't do much damage. That's yeah. fine. That can be fixed. Yeah, that, that'll easily be fixed. Easily fixed. This is a very pretty jacket. Beautiful. Wow. Well, Joel, that was a great shot. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great <laughs> shot. <laughs> I should actually be paying you because uh, we put a lot of time and effort into vermin control. Mm. Uh, especially the jackal and uh, the, we call it the Cape Lynx. Well, night hunting is not something we do a lot of no. in the States. And it's, you know, that's kind of an interesting side, side show to uh, any African hunt is to get out and, uh, and help with the predator control. But that's cool. It's a beautiful jackal. Oh, 
Wetu kondo tu matu cha moro moro mwenda katekerwa Dade konkombe They say thank you for coming to the the south farm and hunting here and they appreciate for coming and good luck for the rest of the hunting and it's just their traditional of saying thank you thank you that's very nice good job